So, when I first got to town, I started taking this acting class. And I met this guy, and we'll just call him Scott. Scott was really talented. I thought he was so amazing, and we were partners for some scenes in class, so we got to know each other fairly well. As we started working together and I got to know him better, I found out that he had a girlfriend, but they were kind of in the midst of breaking up. And she was moving back home to New Jersey. So after that happened, he and I kind of started going out. And it, we went out for probably a year, and everything was great. And we saw each other all the time. We worked together well. And he was a really, really sweet guy. And I spent the night one night, and when we woke up, it was the 4th of July. I remember we slept late, and we were laying there in bed talking, and the phone rang, and he just let it go to voicemail. And it just so happened that we could hear whoever was leaving a message from where we were. And I heard his ex girlfriends voice. And she came on and said, Hey, baby, happy 4th of July. I was hoping we could have a picnic today. I miss you so much. I love you. And I just stopped and looked at him. And you could see this look of panic come over his face. I went and grabbed the phone. I made it known that I was there. He grabbed the phone from my hand and started trying to control the situation. I can hear her screaming and, and I'm yelling into the phone and I'm telling her to come over. I want to talk to her. In the midst of all of this, I found out she was living nearby. She had moved back to town. He hung up and he was trying to explain and I hear a knock at the door. And he didn't hear it and I raced downstairs and answered the door and it was her. We sat down um, on the curb by the sidewalk and we talked for two or three hours at least. She didn't even think they were fully broken up, but I didn't know that. So I was kind of the other woman, I guess. Last couple of months, she had moved back without me knowing it, and she became the other woman. So I went back inside and she followed behind me, and Scott was sitting there watching tennis, sitting on the couch. He didn't know what to do. And I said, stand up, and I hauled off and hit him. He started backing away from me up his staircase, and I just started wailing on him. The ex-girlfriend was following behind me. And as I'm doing this, I'm gathering my things, and I'm saying, don't ever call me again, never call me again, never to call me again. Don't text me, I never want to hear from you again, I hate you. And I stormed out. After I left, the ex-girlfriend walked up to him and just really simply, right before she left, said, Happy Independence Day.